Um, our pitch is uh, about a film that we thought of called Vicini, and uh, the reason we called it this is because it's Latin for neighbour, and the character, the main character is called Mr. Vicini, and uh, basically it's about uh, him being a killer, and he moves into new neighbourhoods and kills everyone on the street, his neighbours, and uh, that's basically the whole point, and the story is him moving into a new, new neighbourhood. And uh, we have a summary here of the, um, the opening scene that we're thinking. We were thinking about having credits, and then we were going to have Mr. Machini moving into his new house, eating breakfast, doing everyday things. And then uh, eventually uh, he has a problem with a kid called Malcolm, who um, dies in the end of the scene. But um, we, uh, we can go more depth into just the credit part. So Okay, so these are the opening credits. This is a storyboard we made. So we start off with Safety Pin Productions, which is something we saw her come up with. And then it goes straight to the idea of, with, okay, firstly we thought about the idea of him going through a newspaper, looking through the estate part of the and he's crossing out a house each time we go through. So we go for a shot, we fade, we go into association with Mountain Brew, some fans we come up with quickly. And it shows him crossing out all these houses, and you see him turn, still crossing, and it goes to the end. And then we see him circle one house which says for sale. So this is the house that he's going to move in because he's the neighbour. But um, the reason we have here that you don't actually see his face, we want it to be quite mysterious. Because obviously, if we see someone's face, he's just crossing out things on a page. It doesn't look very scary. But uh, here it's blue. We've decided to change it to red. And we're going to have him when he's crossing it to be quite brutal. Because it obviously shows if it's red, brutal. It could be seen as quite like killer, like him crossing out something in red. Uh, again, we did want to use something with a car and how a car's driving through a city, but we thought we've got to have time, it's only a two minute opening. So, yeah, we've decided this as like, yeah, I think it works. It keeps the story mysterious and it gives a good basis of a man moving into a house and how he's chosen this house on purpose. So, yeah. Still can't believe my mom did come to that one. She has some things to do. You know this guy? He's in school. Seems like she's rushing in. Who's family? I got something to show
Okay, so location and lighting. For location, we've chosen a house on the street. Uh, the house we've chosen is one of my family members, so we have permission, no plan permission. The street he lives on is quite quiet, you see a lot of casual dog walkers, which we think will really link in the film. So we want it to be just, it don't, we don't want it to seem scary, which adds more to the suspense of the film with some random guy moving to a nice house but being a killer in the end. So. And uh, the lighting, we decided high key lighting, but of course we have to be careful with uh, natural light as well because uh, we want it to be like a nice summer's day, like that perfect kind of day, you know, the stereotypical perfect day in uh, America, which is what we want to say it in. But um, we've got winter coming up now, so it gets darker during the day, so we have to sort of like find a way to work around that in a way, or just accept it as it is. Okay, so characters. We're going to have two characters, Mr. Virginia and Malcolm. Mr. Virginia will be seen wearing a smart black 1950s style suit. We've chosen to dress him like this to stay within the 1950s theme and to like keep with the idea of happiness, so not make it look scary straight away. And like as you see on billboards and stuff, you see the man with the suit on looking very happy. But obviously in this film it's going to turn it in the end and hopefully make it look quite scary instead. Uh, Malcolm, which is the boy, he's going to be wearing t-shirt, shorts, socks and converse. And this is done to make him look like a typical boy from 1950s America. And once again, stay within our film. He would um, look and expect it to be murdered as he is a very innocent child and hasn't done anything wrong. Okay, so props. Throw the seat will be using the following props. We use the child's bike, which will be Malcolm's bike, which he rides on. We're gonna try and make it like squeaky, because if you hear a kid with a squeaky bike, you sort of think, oh, he's cute. So, uh, yeah. We've got a radio, which is gonna be playing um, the uh, jazz music for Mr. Pacino Mr. Yeah, Mr. is to in his uh, house. So it's just like casual family life music. So there's knives, which are usually used in horror conventions. You never really see a crazed man with a gun. It's always a knife, because it adds more pay. So we are following the conventions, we think if you want it to be successful you do need to play along the lines of the conventional horror movie. A uh, bin bag for when he takes out the rubbish in the, uh, in the rubbish scene. Uh, again we have a lollipop for Malcolm, so again you feel a bit more sorry for him when he gets taken because you see a little kid on the bike with a lollipop, you sort of instantly draw towards him. And then vegetables which he's chopping. And then the saucepans which he puts the vegetables in, just to show like household objects and how he's going to sort of act like a normal guy in the house but really he's complete opposite. Okay, so the audience for our film, we chose an age 12, as it has an element of comedy, but only like a few scenes of violence. Uh, the reason we haven't chosen 15 is because, like, there is a sense of murder in the film, but you don't really see it, you don't really see him brutally kill anyone. So we just for you only really see the after effect, so you don't really need to have a 15 thing on it, if there's no gore or anything really. Um, as violence in 12, you shouldn't dwell on detail. There will be evidence of blood, but it will be not emphasised on the occasional moments of war are okay. So if we go back over here we have a couple of mood boards we can quickly explain some of our brief ideas and give you a better view on the story. Um, so this is our, our initial ideas and mood boards we got, it's like the first uh, planning we ever did and uh, I'll eventually come up with a, um, a, a film poster that you'd like to see on, on the side of, side of a bus stop or something like that. But um, yeah, so we've got Pacini written and then obviously him appearing through the house and uh, then we wanted to make it look like a kid drew all this, so obviously by Malcolm, then it's got my house, Billy's house, there are all his friends, then Creepy Man, because he doesn't know his name, which shows a bit more mystery to uh, Pacini. Then it says, uh, come into a neighbourhood near you, and uh, there goes the neighbourhood would be a slogan. So that's, uh, that's what we got for the poster. So uh, this is what Mr. Pacini would look like, it's a nice impression. So basically he's quite a well groomed man, sort of man you sort of think, oh yeah he's quite attractive, he can be a nice guy. You don't really see him as a killer, you see, you see an ugly man who's quite weird and you think, oh he's a little odd, but this guy seems completely normal. Uh, here is our basic ideas, we did go through different ideas at the start. As you can see, idea three was the one we chose. It just says how we had a stepfather, how we wanted to go for the sort of 1950s like, look, kid on a bike. And how he kills him, he's sort of taking out the trash here. Yeah. Um, is that, that one? No, yeah, that's the, that was when we branched off from that and made our own Mr. Pacini to put on the slide. Then we just went through like different ways we could represent uh, the title. But that is, uh, that is basically our, our picture, I think. 